Welcome back to another episode of the Hard Hitter Podcast. We are here with our first round to NBA preview slash prediction. We have a first round, first, second round matchup, which I think could be the most interesting round of the playoffs. We have the Brooklyn Nets versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Two very different teams, very different styles, very different cultures. Very, very opposing side, like kind of a yin and yang. Uh, let's start with Brooklyn as they are the higher seed, the two seed. Brooklyn, they're all scoring. You got, of course, of course, you got Kyrie, Harden, KD. That's all you need to win a championship right there. They are very strong contenders. I'd say still the front runners to win the championship. It would be a disappointment. It's championship or bust this year for Brooklyn. And they definitely have the pieces to do it. Um, they showed pretty, they were really dominant against Boston, giving up only one game. Uh, but I think the real weakness really shined through in that series is that they they cannot, they're not very good defensively. They have to outscore every team they play to get a win. They're not going to stop you on the defensive end, but they will shoot you out the court. Uh, so that's why Boston took one game. Uh, Jason Tatum went off and basically gave uh, Brooklyn run for its money. So they won in five. But let's kind of just go over some stats uh, for some players who who uh, play. Hey, y'all. So uh, the video actually cut out right here. So I'm going to uh, edit this in here right now. I uh, just kind of went over the Bucks and the Nets. I went over the Nets stats and I talked about the Bucks and how they played well in round one and the supporting pass played great and then we're going to lead into the Bucks stats right now so sorry about that about a minute was cut out of here so I was just going to bridge the gap Drew Holiday all very good we'll go over their stats right now though so we'll start with Giannis of course Giannis put up about uh, 23 and a half uh, 11 or sorry 15 23 and a half 15 and 8 with two steals uh, amazing amazing performance from uh Giannis there, not too much more you could ask for. And then you also get Chris Middleton, uh, 21 and a half on, let's say, 40% from the three, 50% from the field, uh, seven rebounds, four assists. Amazing, amazing series from Chris Middleton. Brooke Lopez putting up 16, uh, seven, and he did not have any assists this season, but uh, 16 and seven, solid for Brooke Lopez. Um, you would look, like to see him shoot better from three, only 12.5% from three, uh, but 60% from the field, so he's getting a lot of those buckets inside. Uh, eventually, he'll probably turn into more of a stretch guy when it comes down down to it. Um, and then they had the offseason pickup, Drew Holiday, uh, played very, very good defense the whole series. Kind of He put up Drew numbers. He had 15, uh, 7, and 10, very Drew numbers, plus the defense with two almost two and a half steals so uh really good really good uh series for drew holiday he also had brian forbes who had a good uh one good game so he pushed him up to 15 points per game bobby portis with about 11 uh 11 and 5 solid solid a lot of just solid all-around play but they did lose dante divincenzo who's going to be out for the rest of the playoffs that's a big guy they're losing there that's some key depth that could come in handy as they get the potentially deeper in the playoffs um so now let's go over each team's round one mvp so for the brooklyn nets i will be picking James Harden. James Harden, obviously. We went over stats. Go over one more time. He put up 28. Not to mention he's shooting over 55% from the field. 47.5% from three. He put up 28, 7, and 10 with two steals. Uh, not That's everything and more you want from James Harden. And James Harden looks like a man on a mission to get a ring. Uh and he just had an amazing series one uh, after coming off an injury, not too late in the season. So uh, for the Bucks, my series MVP round one, 
Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton, you might be thinking, oh, why not Giannis? I did Chris Middleton just because I believe they had obviously trouble beating the Heat and maybe some of their players weren't playing as well. And I think Chris Middleton wasn't playing as well. And he goes out there and he puts up that 21 and a half on very efficient shooting, uh, being that second guy to Giannis. I think that was really the key factor to them winning that series. Um, now let's get into some of the games they play during the regular season. I don't know how much you want to take from this, but it's, a, it's just a little something to look over. Uh, game one, 25 to 125 to 123, close win. That was very early in the season. Uh, game two and three were right next to each other. They played them uh, back to back, and the Bucks won both 114 to 117 and 118 to 124. So you want to read into that what you want. Uh, if not, okay. <laughs> uh, now let's get into some round two X factors for each team. We'll start with Brooklyn. And I think it's Kevin Durant. And not only just Kevin Durant, I just think the big three, can they outscore with no def- without with very bad defense? Can they outscore their opponents to get them wins in the playoffs. So it, not just Kevin Durant, but just the big three in general. Um, and then the round two X factor, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, this, uh, Giannis obviously two MVPs, not too much playoff success. This, if Giannis wants to be a great player in this league, this could be the year. This could be the series he kind of steps into that next next echelon of player by beating this Brooklyn Nets team with three amazing players. This could be his series that if he goes off, beats them, plays great defense against whoever he's guarding. I'm guessing KD will probably be on KD, but whoever they... Whoever, if he can come out of the series and win it and obviously be the best player, which I think he's going to put up monster numbers regardless, they don't have somebody in the paint who can guard Giannis. They don't have anybody who can guard Giannis. He's going to score at will, which we haven't seen in the playoffs because many teams game plan around Giannis and want the other guys to beat him. But he is going to be able to score at will. So... Now, let's get into the prediction... Many of my friends know. I think I talked about this on one NBA podcast. I've been high on the Bucks this year. I think this is the best put together Bucks team. You obviously got Drew Holiday. They picked up Chris Middleton's playing great. Giannis, of course, Brooke Lopez, who is a great player. I think if there is a team to beat the Brooklyn Nets, it's the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, and that's why. In seven games, I have the Milwaukee Bucks beating the Nets. I don't think the Nets are going to be able to outscore the Bucks consistently enough to win this series. I think the Bucks have the way better defense, and I think they are not. The Brooklyn has nothing to stop Giannis. Brooklyn has nothing to stop Giannis. Obviously, they have the big three, three of the greatest scorers ever. But I like I like Giannis on on KD. You're probably throwing Chris Middleton on on Harden, and then Drew on Kyrie. I like those matchups for Milwaukee. I like those matchups. I don't think I think Brook. Obviously, I think all three of them are going to score a lot. I don't think they're going to be scoring at will like Giannis. I don't think they have nothing to stop Giannis. That's why that this will probably be the hottest take. You'll get from me the whole playoffs. I I think this is it. I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed in Brooklyn. I think they're going to this Bucks team's going to show all the flaws they have. They have a they have some flaws. This is a very good Brooklyn team. They have flaws and it's defense, it's interior defense. And when you give a player like Giannis the interior, he's going to dominate. And I I really think as long as the Bucks surrounding cast plays good they're winning this series so that's that's why I got the bucks uh 
Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Uh, I know this is a hot take. Try to tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me in, in the comments, not just, oh, they have the three best players, but what are they going to do to stop Giannis? Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, so comment below what you think. Uh, leave a like on the video. A lot of people are watching these videos who are not subscribed. About 80% on the last three, four videos are not subscribed. So uh, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button so we can run up the subscriber count. Get a lot of views on these second round predictions slash previews. So you obviously like them. Uh, so let us know what el other little short, shorter videos we can do like this. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll, we'll see you later. Peace.